Clifford and today I'm going to show you how to make origami grains like these. So you take a sheet of square paper and you fold it in half. You have to be as accurate as you can with these folds. And then half again. Oops. And then across. Triangle. Open it up and across again. And open it up and turn it over like this. Push it down and then these two sections you pull together and put flat like this. <laughs> this is meant to not be sticking out here, but there you go. Then you make sure that you've got the flat like this. You take this side and you fold up to the score line where your fold is. And you do the other side up to match. So it's kind of making a kite shape. And fold it over. And do the same on the other side. So up to the score line. So you've got your kite shape. Like okay. this. Um, open out the back and you fold this side over. And then you open these out and you pull it back to this line here. So that it makes this shape, diamond shape. Fold it over and you do the same, so you're folding to this line here, so I'll just score that a bit flatter. So opening again to that line, it's a bit fiddier on this side, you can see. <laughs> there you go, that's better. Okay, and then you've got this, these bits are loose. These bits aren't, see? And then you do you fold again, but you don't fold fold all the way to the edge, you fold just a couple of mils short. Like that. And on the other side. Let's see. And you turn it over, you do the same on the other side. Okay, and then these are going to be the wings, so you fold these back to the natural fold there, and then on the other side, so that's the other wing. And then these are the legs. We'll call them legs, they're not, they're, they're the body and the tail. So you fold that up like this. That's why I'm moving all around. <laughs> and then you pull this so that it folds inside itself, which is very fiddly. And even though I've made lots and lots of these cranes, I always struggle with this bit. And this is why I was saying to you, you need to fold it really correctly that's not quite right but it looks okay especially when you've got thousands of them and you fold the other side like that and then up inside that one's almost perfect and then you can see the wings the tail and the body and you kind of pick which one you're gonna that's that's not a good example so what we'll do is we'll take this one and make that into the head so you bend it about there you bend it down and then you flick it. Oopsie. So in the same way, you bend that back 